guys, Stephanie and Nicole. Today I'm going to be doing a fall haul, a fall makeup haul. And it's basically stuff that I that I bought the other day. It's all makeup related and it's very affordable, which I like. Anyways, um, I think this is very appropriate for every everyone that's looking for, you know, affordable products um, with fall colors. Specifically, I went to Walmart. And I also went to Walgreens to buy some essentials, which are like the extra part of this haul because they're not really makeup related, but they can also help you guys out um, in terms of skincare and just fall skincare. You'll see what I mean. Let's talk about makeup now. So I love this Stay Rimmel, Stay Matte Rimmel Powder. I keep on repurchasing it because like this like everyday fall makeup and it's things that I use constantly every time I go out um, to school or something. Like this is the makeup that I, that I use because I don't want to use my high-end stuff for just like going to school or running errands or something like that. And also I want something a little bit more like natural and lightweight uh, because I'm trying to take care of my skin. My skin has been a lot better now since I've been doing exercise and drinking lots of water and eating um, healthier, but that's for another video. Yeah, to keep up with my skincare routine, I wanted to use something lightweight like this. My color is Silky Beige 005. Again, everything will be listed in the down bar. Next thing is the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Bronzer with SPF 15. And this stuff is legit. Like, if you're looking for a bronzer that will last you forever, this is your bronzer right here. Like, mine got lost or something. I don't know where it went, but I swear by it. Like, I used it every single day for school. And it never it never ceased to exist but it's humongous and the color is gorgeous it has a little bit of it has a little bit of shimmer in it but i really like it because it gives you this glow in your face it's not like um you know it's very finely milled um shimmer everything that i bought i'm wearing right now so if you see some color there that's the bronzer and it's amazing and this is a color to get to brazil i also like the other one which is like bikini contest or something like that that was ex that one is ex like more more opaque and i think the color stronger but it just depends on, on your skin tone so if you're a similar skin tone this will be good for you as well as the bikini contest but if you're more fair tone i would stick to the ticket to brazil like i said this is for like everyday use so i want something inexpensive so i bought this very shimmer wet and wild um what is this this is a blush and i've heard so many good things about it online i've never tried them out i don't know why but I tried this one out and this is so, 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 so pigmented. Like right now you can see it on my cheeks and that was a little dab. That was like the tiniest dab. You'll see what I mean. Next, this has always been my favorite. This is Maybelline uh, Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand Sable. And this is amazing. This has a felt tip, which makes it really easy to get under the eye and highlight if you want. But I mainly use it for under eye circles. And I do have under really bad under eye so circles, as you're going to see. And I don't know, like, it makes a really good difference. Um, you, like, hiding that imperfection. It doesn't crease at all. I've tried it for, I would say, like, half a year, six months. Six months ago, I just ran out and I keep repurchasing this one for my everyday makeup because it's just great. Something really easy. So next I bought not one, not two, not three, but four Wet n Wild lipsticks and everybody swears by these because apparently they're so pigmented and so easy to blend and so inexpensive. They were like 197 I think. Normally they're like 237, 230. I'm being too specific and I don't really know if those numbers are correct, but I love, 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 love them. So this color that I'm wearing right now, I think it's spiked with rum and it's this pretty, 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 pretty um, Kylie Jenner inspired color. I'll just swatch it for you. Isn't that gorgeous? and it just looks really nice against my skin tone again and i think it's really appropriate for any type of skin tone because it's a nude but it doesn't like 
make you pale, you know, like doesn't wash you out. These other colors I bought because, like I said, I like to look for reviews before I, I commit myself to buying something because even if it's inexpensive, it accumulates. And this is the Sugar Plum Fairy and everybody in their mother swears about this and I understand why. It's a gorgeous plum color. Looks like this, this one right here. And it's gorgeous because you can build it up and it's a little bit vampy, if you know what I mean. So next I bought the In The Flesh and this is another gorgeous uh, nude color but it has more of like a pink tone to it i don't know if you can see right here against this one this one's more mauve this one has a, like a little bit of baby pink um undertones and i really like this one i normally don't buy um lipsticks that look alike but this one my sister swore by it so i had to get it and i always trust her opinion because her makeup is always so flawless so i have to buy this purchase this one finally this one oh my god this one was is cherry picking and i bought this one because of belinda celine i love that i love her and i love how it looked on her and she swears by this i think that this is this one is her like favorite lipstick out of all of the lipsticks that she owns and i had to pick it up and i understand exactly why she likes it look at that but it's gorgeous. This is like more of like a rose red type of color and it looks really nice. I normally don't use makeup remover wipes. I just leave them in my purse. No, I normally don't wear that much makeup. Like I said, I want to uh, maintain my, my skin free of blemishes and just trying to better my skin. So I always like to have these in my purse. I always put them in my purse because sometimes I just want to like remove all the, all, all the gunk out of my face or if I have like a little bit of makeup and I just want to be free of makeup because I have those moments, those PMS moments specifically. So yeah, I just use the, these. Also, sometimes I have impromptu sleepovers with my best friend. So it's always good to have these in my purse. I wanted a face wash and I always go back to Biore like I love Biore because this one is specifically is a deep pore charcoal cleanser and this is amazing like I had the Michael Todd charcoal and I I liked it but you know it's kind of expensive and um, I don't know it didn't really do much for my face so but I really liked the feeling that it gave me afterwards so I decided on going with this one, the Biore Charcoal one, and it's amazing, it's so minty, so refreshing, and it's just great, so I highly recommend this one. Two more products, like I said, I want I want to um, take care of my skin, but I don't want to break the budget, so I bought the Swap Naturals Everlasting Sunshine Warm and Rich Fragrance um, Body Lotion, and I bought this one because number one, it's $3 at Walgreens, number two, um, I love the scent, clean scent. And number three, it's because it's it's big and I'm trying to daily ritual of like putting body lotion all around my body every single night and that can become expensive because some lotions are just way too expensive. So I decided to get this one which is three bucks and I really like it because it's really easy to, to distribute throughout your body. It's not sticky at all. I hate sticky lotions. That's normally the reason why I don't um, put a lot of lotion and finally I bought the Swap Professionals Keratin Infusion with Laura Silkfix Shampoo and I love this this makes my hair really really soft and I don't really care about the sulfates thing I, I really appreciate that slower and sulfates but I, I just bought it because of the keratin I wanted to buy the Tresemme keratin one but they didn't have one so I, I, I decided to get this one I really like it actually and it's way less expensive than the Tresemme one. Um, this one was like $2.50 versus the Tresemme one, which is double, which is five. Um, and being a student, I like to, you know, not spend that much if I don't have to. So this has been working great. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my first video. And I'm really excited about this uh, possible journey. And I really hope you guys enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up if you, if you did. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!